Hello everyone, today I will be ranking all Mario Kart Double Dash tracks from worst to best, also this video is just my opinion, let's get into it. At number 16 we have Baby Park which is not my favorite, you race around this tiny oval 7 times and the main gimmick is just trying to dodge the insane amount of items flowing around, I do think this is a cool idea but it just doesn't compete with the longer tracks in the game. I do really like the amusement park atmosphere however. At number 15 we got Luigi Circuit, and for a starter track this one still manages to have some creativity. For one the track does this really unique thing where a part of the road is right next to another part of the road, so you may have to dodge racers going in an opposite direction. This track also features a chain chomp to keep things spiced up. At number 14 we have Mushroom Bridge, a track taking place in a strange little town. You go through a tunnel where you gotta dodge cars and then you go over a giant bridge and it is possible to somehow go up the speed ramps off the side but it is hard to pull off and I haven't managed to do it yet. Dodging to cars while making all the different types of turns is pretty fun though. At number 13, we have Peach Beach, a fun beach course that reminds me of Super Mario Sunshine. This track has you racing past some beachside apartments into the sand where you have to dodge cataquacks that will shoot you into the air. This is a beautiful course and it has some tropical vibes in it with palm trees and daisy cruisers in the background. Plus there's the infamous ramp to the left, the one that nobody uses. At number 12, we have Mushroom City which is a track that takes place in a city at night where you must dodge a ton of cars. When you get to the intersections, there are multiple options for paths you can take. There are also many different turns you have to make as you go through a city that has a really well put together atmosphere. This course is fun and has a lot to offer. At number 11 we have Mario Circuit which is a really good track. This course takes place around Peach's Castle and looks like World 1 from a lot of Mario games. You make sharp turns, go past the Chain Chomp and some Piranha Plants, there's even a sandy bump section at the end and the visual aspect of this game is top tier with all the details in the background. At number 10 we got Dry Dry Desert, a really awesome desert track. You have to dodge dust devils and pokies as well as avoiding quicksand that tries to suck you in. The background is full of palm trees and pyramids as well as smiling clouds which makes the atmosphere quite lovely. Definitely a dope desert track. At number 9 we have Sherbert Land, a really fun winter themed track. Part of this course takes place over an ice skating rink and you have to dodge Shy Guys ice skating. You proceed to go into a cave and later through a snowy forest. You also have to dodge these ice things with faces or they freeze you. At number 8 we got Yoshi Circuit, which is a track that's in the shape of Yoshi. As you would expect, there are many turns you have to take. The whole thing takes place on an island. There is a section that even takes place in a tunnel and there are even piranha plants on either side of the road that will try to eat you. At number 7 we have DK Mountain which is just an amazing track. You start by making sharp turns up a hill and then you go into a cannon. You go to the top of a volcano with a face and then you go down it dodging falling boulders. You proceed to make sharp turns and then you go over a wobbly bridge to the finish line. At number 6 we got Daisy Cruiser, a really dope track that takes place on a moving cruise ship. You start on top of the ship having to dodge a pool. You then go into the ship into a dining room hall where the tables randomly move around trying to sabotage you. There's even the section that takes place in what appears to be an engine room. This is definitely a really fun course with some unique elements. Number 5 is Warrior. Coliseum which is a really fun track that is so long you only have to make two laps instead of three. You go into this giant ball thing and make your way down a really long spiral. The rest of the track is full of fun sharp turns to make. At the end of the lap there is also this cool section where you can take a ramp over the circular split path. This is definitely a really fun course. Number 4 is Dino Dino Jungle and it's a Jurassic themed track. You go through a palm tree jungle and there is a Brachiosaurus you must go under. You also get to see the head later. This track has you going through a cave that is filled with geysers that will shoot you up in the air if you hit it. This track also has smiling clouds and pterodactyls flying around. At number 3 we have Waluigi Stadium which is a course that takes place on a dirt bike track. There are many bumps you'll go over as well as many turns to make. You go over ramps through fire rings and there's this really awesome section where you have to go through piranha plants trying to block your way. Plus the direction signs have eyes on them and that's hilarious. At number 2 we have Bowser's Castle and this is a really good course as it has many unique elements such as Bowser's statue that moves around and shoots fireballs at you and having a room where fire spins on the floor. There are even swamps to dodge at the start. Overall this is an amazing track and also likely gave inspiration to Bowser's Castle on Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart 8. Finally, at number 1 is the best Double Dash course is Rainbow Road, and this one is so much fun to play. Mario Kart Double Dash has very sensitive controls, which means that you have to master turning in the game to be able to do good on this track. This course uses the game's mechanics to make it really hard to make all the precise turns. While this might not sound fun, once you actually get good at the game and know how to turn really well, it makes this track so much fun to play. Plus, this course is so colorful, and the night sky is really beautiful. What more is that it literally takes place over a Mushroom City, another track we talked about earlier on this list. GCN Rainbow Road is absolutely goaded. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and if you disagree with anything, feel free to comment down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I have another one where I ranked every single Mario Kart Wii track, so check that out if you're interested. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe. I'll be making more dope content in the future.